All right, guys, what's going on? Today, we're gonna to be doing a top-down analysis. And just quickly, I just wanna make sure I'm sharing the right screen. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing a top-down analysis on dollar index and Euro US dollar. So yeah, I wanted to just jump into it. It is family day this uh, today. And uh, on Monday is a, is a holiday for us here in, in Canada. Um, so I just wanted to get this out quick before doing any of the uh, or partaking in any of the family day festivities today going skating and, and all that stuff so gonna be good um yeah so let's just jump right in so dollar index what are we looking at right now so well the one thing that that we can see here that that's super clear right is that we swept up this side or well we might this might be a break of structure it might be a sweep we don't know and we swept this side right? Definitely this one was a sweep. And this is what we were looking at way before actually in, in Telegram where when price was down here, I was like, guys, we're looking to go long. Like we want to take this out because we have the classic ICT accumulation, manipulation, and then distribution. That's what we were anticipating. And so now we came up, took this high out and faded right back down. Now, what's interesting to note is that Euro US dollar went like this, right? And it took out this low. Additionally, what had, would happen is Euro US dollar came down like this and then took out this low before going up. All right. Well, on Euro US dollar, it's going to be the high. So we're seeing price diverging, diverging multiple times. Um, and so because of that, I'm 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 feeling more inclined for upside. There's a, a couple other reasons as well. But if we look on the if we look on the um, the monthly, look at how the candle is forming right now. Essentially, what we're doing is we're using, you can see here, we have these last two up candles before down move, right? And then if this were to go continue going down, it should have held, it didn't, it breaks through. So therefore, this is a block of interest, right? This is gonna be our, uh, um, an order block right here. These last two consecutive down candles, right? So you could see it, it starts from here, it comes down, comes back up. This is a mitigation block right here. You can see we dabble back into it, respect, boost up, imbalance, right? Now we have this, this uh, fair value gap slash imbalance there. And the next candle comes back in in the next month. When was that? <clears throat> in January, comes back down, fills it a little bit of it or majos, maj majority, majos, that's a new word. Um, and then this candle right from this month comes down and mitigates some of this wick. So realistically, it is looking a little bit more like we're going to be going up, to be honest, if, if I'm looking at dollar index, where probably up into this fair value gap up here, okay? That's what I'm assuming. This is just front running it like that. And we're creating liquidity, liquidity. So we're doing a bunch of runs on liquidity. So I would assume we're gonna get into that or that uh, this fair value gap up here as well. Okay, so that's what I'm anticipating. Again, it's a forecast. So we'll, we'll have to adapt and see because this doesn't look the best for me as well, right? It looks like we swept liquidity. We close below this this candle, so this is potentially an order block as well. Um, but at the same time, we also have this last down candle that took out liquidity. It mitigated some fair value gap in here. We break structure, come back down into it, and now we're reacting. So we're getting mixed signals here. Um, but because because uh, how price has been diverging with the euro dollar, I do believe that we are gonna get this uh, more of a, 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 a draw on liquidity up to this high here. Um, it doesn't mean that it's gonna go take out that high, but I think that that's gonna be the next draw on liquidity. So if I just look at it from, from where we currently are in price, what I'm seeing here is that we have what? Low or let me just do this. We have this intermediate low here, which is a swing point. We have this fair value gap right here. You could see how nice price is, is just respecting that, right? It's respecting this fair value gap. We get that divergence here and we get this push back up. Now, so what we have essentially is that price grabs some liquidity down here, right? Is now fading or is climbing back up and to fill up some imbalance up in here, at least. You know, I see right here we have this last up candle that took out liquidity. We have this massive, this is. Um, a nice gap in price here on, on both sides. I really like to see these types of types of moves um, when, when you have gaps on both sides. It's, it forms out to be a pretty, a pretty good support. And you can see that we have it 
right here or resistance, right? So we have a gap on either side. You can see we got a nice, it, it reacted from there beautifully. So what I would anticipate now is that either we're going to come back and fill it up. I do like this for filling it up higher, just obviously because of the, the higher time frame bias, but also we have this last up candle. We have this hidden base right here, okay? Or hidden order block right there. So, and then we have this intermediate high right here. Okay. So I believe that this is going to be the next draw on liquidity. I also do like, because right now this is very, you can see that there's a lot of traffic down here and then there's not a lot of traffic up here. So I think that this is going to be the more easy run to get back up above this high here. And yeah, I, I do believe that that's going to be the case. I also like this last down candle here, right? This last down candle that took out this low and that rebalanced this, this candle right here. Okay, filled up some inefficiencies and started coming back. And now it closed above this candle. We dig back into it. So this is really like another order block that formed right here, right? And if we just use the body here, you can see that we mitigated 50% of it right there. And now it looks like we're gonna be pushing up into this level. I would assume that the next draw on liquidity, like the most, the most high probable draw on liquidity will be up at the 500 figure. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is instead, I'm just gonna mark off the 500 figure as opposed to uh, the actual order block because we already have this, this little block highlighted, okay? And so if I go into the four hour, uh, the four hour is just super low resistance liquidity down here. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell, but the higher time frames do look do look up so i'm just going to maintain that bias as of right now right we look at the again i just want to see if i'm missing anything we did mitigate some of that level so but i just don't know i'm not i'm not too sure on direction right now to be honest i just it looks like we're going to be going up here but i could also see price coming back down on on dollar index like this one two three swing point after mitigating some of this imbalance there and then now we start fading back down from this to where take out these lows and then into this little imbalance down here this last last down candle before the before the up move so that's a potential as well i'm going to keep that in mind now that i'm looking at it now but let's go in the four hour again and then i'm going to anticipate that this is going to be the main move right this is going to be the main draw on liquidity um we, you know we broke technical structure right here okay we break technical structure right there. We have our sweep on liquidity. We have another sweep on liquidity right there. We have potential to come back down early in the week, right? That's what honestly might happen is we might see something like this early in the week. And then for the rest of the week, we get that bullish week up to here. So that's what, that's what might play out. Honestly, if I just get the month and week breaks, let's, let's just have a, a good little forecast of what that would be. Right, so if we say, let's see, 70 pips, 50 pips back into this level, potentially. So this is gonna be one that I'm gonna be looking at. I'll just highlight it out, the FEG, like so. And so if we start to see this getting tagged out here, come back down, then come back up, that's probably what it's gonna be, probably what's gonna be the play because I do like how we have some sweeps on liquidity right there. We have a nice break in structure there. So this is really that nice strong low. If I go in the one hour, let's see, can we see anything? Yeah, so this is really the break in structure here, okay? This, what the heck is going on? Um, there you go, there's your break in structure right there. This is your sweep. So therefore coming back down into here is definitely a viable option um, at the beginning of the week potentially to see this get filled. And then we have this as our new trading range, like so. From this low to this high, this is gonna be our new trading range, okay? And so what we wanna be seeing obviously is gonna be getting into discount of this range, which I believe we already tagged into, yeah. Okay, we already tagged into discount of that range. You could see dabbles, you get this nice response, but I wanna see it go deeper into discount. So if I'm just getting the, Fibo out right now, we could see what 
comes back into the 62, this, this whole level, right? We can see it price getting back down into the last down candle right here, but this is really the last imbalance. You can see we have another one right here on the dollar index, of course. And that also matches up. I don't know what's going on with my screen right now. Why it keeps clicking or lagging. <clears throat> um, and so that's probably the last area that I can see price coming back down into. Okay. Like, so I would, I would like to see either price come back down into this level or back down to here. And then we can be looking for that, that buy setup up here. So I'm definitely going to be leaning more on the buy side guys, um, potentially early in the week sells and then up to, up to these highs. And if we just go with the bodies here, line them up with the bodies, I use bodies for targets more so, and you can see the targets line up uh, pretty nicely with this, with either that, um, hidden base right there or into that big imbalance that we have just above it, right? So it might just dabble up into that, that big imbalance above it as well. So we'll keep an eye out on that. So that means if we're bullish dollar or anticipating more, more um, of a bullish scenario on dollar, obviously we have to wait and see how the, the week opens up and, and how it forms, right? Obviously if it starts coming down here right, in, right away and we start to see maybe on Tuesday that we're getting, uh, that we're right down here, that's going to be a really good indication that this is going to be that the next move in the market, right? That next upside uh, move. However, if we start coming up during the during the beginning of the week and we start we're up here by Tuesday, well, that's going to probably be indicative that we're going to get some sort of of downside, right? Either down to here, like that, or down to this level to fill up some of this imbalance and so on and so forth. Okay, so it depends how the week opens, but Ideally, what I would like to see is this come back down. I love how we just took out liquidity there as well. So have some sort of sell opportunity up here, or some move down to here, then up to here. And then the week will close out. And then that's going to be the, the bullish week. So that would be an ideal scenario. Um, that's what I would be looking for on dollar index. Okay. So we'll keep these levels just on here. I don't need any of this stuff. I don't want to clutter up the screen too much at all. Okay. And so I'm just going to keep these levels on and just be aware of them uh, throughout the week. I already know that that's going to be the imbalance there. I don't need any of this or this or this or this. Again, just keeping it super clean and, and super relevant, right? We're, we're using only the most relevant things. We have some liquidity pool in here. We have a recent sweep up there. We have a potential target up here. So for, for targets, I'm just going to use this. Okay, I'm just going to use this. And then actually for, I'm just going to use a horizontal line for this one. And sorry, this is just my OCD. Like <laughs> I do the exact same thing every week, right? So I use the, the same content or the same way to, to view my chart. So I like how there's that, um, what's it called? 96 500s right here, right in front of that, in, in that zone. So I do believe that this is going to be that dealing range. We have that strong low. We have that weak high. I believe that price is going to be gravitating up to there. I would like to see some intermediate lows get taken prior, right? Before we get a big run up. And I would like anticipate a run similar to this leg, right? Similar to the, the, to the, the size and character of that leg of going up. Okay. So that's what I'm anticipating on the dollar index for the coming week. So now we can go down to your US dollar. Okay. And your US dollar to me seems a little bit more clear. Of course, we have this, this order block right here, right? We broke structure, even though, yeah, we just wicked through it. But what do we have? We have one, two, three. So this is a nice swing point. We break through it. Okay. We wick through it. That's everything that it needs to continue in, in the um, up direction, right? It, it, to continue bullish. Um, but one of the things that I, that I did notice as well, obviously we had this sweep down here. We had this sweep here as well. And we hit this hidden base right here. This is where we were looking for long. I've said it, I brought it up in a bunch of videos even before, before it actually, the move actually happened. We've been looking for it right here. But at the same time, I also know that if price were to continue down and this were to be just a sweep on liquidity right here, well, where would I be looking for more downside? Well, I'd be looking right down here, right? We have this nice cluster of orders. You can see that this is actually a nice, well, right here is actually a mitigation block right here. Right, that's 
lines up perfectly with that hidden base. So that's why we're kind of reacting or why I'm assuming that we're reacting right where we are. Um, but at the same time, we do have this, this little liquidity base right here. That's also these last two, these last two down candles before the major up move. So this is really the last block right here that I'd be interested in looking at price to come back down to if price were to come back down there. Additionally, what do we have? Well, we have all imbalance has been filled on this time frame at least. And you can see here that we have this hidden base in that same level. Very, very similar to what's going on here. And um, if it does, if it were to, to continue down, we would have these lows sponsoring that liquidity to then continue up and probably, I would assume, start reaching much higher into this into this price leg. Okay. So I do believe that that's going to be the next move. I don't, I don't believe that this low is going to get taken. There's really a lot of traffic to get through in order to, to see that happen. I'd much prefer to see something like this or like this, right? And start taking out some of these levels. And you'll see that if I look on the daily even, like this to me looks like a market maker buy model where we have this consolidation up here, right? That's going to be our accumulation, our distribution, smart money reversal, and then potentially start making our way up into these levels. So depending on where it goes down from, like right here on the daily, it looks bearish to me. It looks bearish as ever, potentially down to get down into lower pricing uh, or just down to here into, into deeper discount of this leg before going up. But we'll see, right? Right now it's looking bearish and we have the potential that that one 100 big figure could be attacked right at that, right at that, uh, this block right here, okay? Which is also a mitigation block right here. And then you have the last, you can refine it down to these last candles right there, which is again, is that hidden base, okay? So we do have a lot, a lot of confluence in and around these levels, okay? And um, again, if you're curious as to what, what I'm talking about hidden or um, mitigation block and all that, this is all ICT concepts. I'm just regurgitating the information, of course. I, I say it every time. Um, I'm just, you know, I just study them. And I've gotten consistent with them. And so, you know, if, if you want to go to the source, I would recommend it because he's a, an excellent teacher. I'm just showing you what I think. Okay. Um, so that being said, now we have ideas where, okay, if we're going to go down, we're probably going to come down to here. Um, however, let's, let's think of, let's think of more um, what's going to happen now in it or in the recent or as relevant, sorry, that's, <laughs> I was trying to figure out the word there. What's relevant right now? And the first thing that I'm seeing is this, okay? So what I'm seeing is that we had a sweep on major liquidity. We also had another major liquidity sweep right here as well. And then we broke down, this is the structural point, right? We can say that this one was, but I just know on the smaller time frame that we see this, right? That this is really the, the swing low that should have been held. What happens, we break through, we have this nice breaker block right here slash order block combo right here, imbalance fair value gap right here, fills it, starts running down, comes back up, okay? So what I'm anticipating then <clears throat> is that this gets filled, right? Which it did, and you can see nice, we have a nice institutional swing point here. We got a really, really nice reaction off of this candle. So for the coming days, it, the, the days actually look like we're gonna start coming in bearish right? The days start look, looking like they're going to come in bearish to at least target, in my opinion, this low. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. And that goes in line with our dollar index, right? Dollar index, we're thinking it's going to come and take out this high. Maybe it'll start the week lower, right? Which means that this might start the week coming up higher. I don't believe it's going to dig up above that though. Like see how dollar index looks like it, it might come back down. And even then it might not, right? Because yeah, this looks like we have a little swing point right here. So we could just be going straight bullish on that. And now this looks like it could be just going straight bearish. Um, where to? Well, let's look on the weekly, right? One of the things that I like to do is, you know, you see, you have this, this potential bear or bullish order block. 50% is basically right at the 50 level. 550. Okay. Interesting. So let's go in the smaller time frame and see what's going on over there. And look at what, what do we have here? We have a beautiful, beautiful imbalance. At the same time, it's also the 
you know, like I said before, when you have the imbalance on one side, imbalance on the other, it's it's just something I've noticed that's that's just super uh, it's super effective. You know, it, it seems to be super effective. So what I would anticipate is price to kind of wanting to to dig down into this into this uh, fair value gap here. So I'm just going to mark off the whole fair value gap, okay? Um, and I would anticipate that price is going to get down into there. It's also at that that 50 big figure, okay? Um, if we look at the 500. 500 is actually right here. We'll just use the 500 because that's at the fill and that's the actual big, big figure. And so look at that. We have some nice confluence there. We also have a nice hidden base right there. And at the same time, look at this. This is our last down candle, right? That took out liquidity. It got immediately consumed. We never dabbled back into it, right? So we broke up above it right here just with a wick. And then I guess you can say that it dabbled back into it, but we didn't get a close and then retest of it. So I would anticipate that the next draw on liquidity is gonna be down into this one, two, 500, which makes sense with our dollar index analysis as well, okay? And then let's go into the four hour. Let's just see what's what's shaking over here. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep these levels marked off. I'll take off this one because I don't really need that. It's not necessary. It's just gonna clutter up the charts. I know that one, two, 500 is, is gonna be the, the big figure that we're probably gonna be searching for. I also love this because you can see that this is just a clear order block, which is why we were going, or we, we were looking at longs this the, the last week, right? Right up to here. I said, called it right in the beginning of the week that we were going to be getting up and to fill some of this imbalance here, right? You know as well that this was the higher time frame, the daily imbalance, right? Which we can refine to what? These order blocks up here, right? Or this order block, right? It's these last two up candles. We break back down. It comes back into it. So this is our refinement of that daily level. Okay. We have our daily sweep up here, of course. So up here, you can see that we just grabbed all this liquidity. Again, this isn't really relevant, but I like to just mark it off to just to remind myself that yes, we did grab liquidity here. And now it looks like we're just following this, this bearish momentum down to take out this low. This is, this looks like to be the target. This is actually a really nice fractal that's playing out right here. This is a ICT special. You can go study it for yourself, but this is a really nice fractal that's playing out. Um, right from this level. So I would anticipate that that this low, so after we look for these longs, which we did, and we, we got in a bunch of them, actually got in a nice little short here as well. Um, and then targeting this imbalance right here last week, you can go check out the telegram for that. But for now, what I'm looking at is that we have our shift. It looks clearly like on our, in, or our lower time frames now on the four hour, we get this shift right here as soon as we take out this low, right? As soon as we take out this low, we get that shift, we get that fade back up into here. And then now we get that drop, take out this low again. So just showing bearish signs. And now I would not be surprised if we start dabbling back up into any of these imbalances, whichever one, it has the potential to get back all the way up to here. Okay. If I go FEG and FEG, I'm going to take these off. I'm just, I just want to show you, because I'm already aware that this is going to be this move, I don't like to have a lot of clutter on my screen. It just it just distracts me. And so um, I just want to point it out that those are the two imbalances that I'm looking at. This is going to be the major draw on liquidity down to here. And you can see here, I can even take off this one. I don't really need that because what I have right here is going to be the low, the major low that I'm going to be targeting. Okay. And you can see here that it's actually clean lows like that. So clean equal lows. So what we can do is we can just remind ourselves that yeah these or this is going to be that level to be targeting and probably going to be dabbling into that imbalance into that two one two five hundred which is also this this little order block right here okay so super super interesting how the development is uh, is, is setting up right now let's go into one hour um, again like just gorgeous right i mean clear clear gap right? This is the last down candle mitigated. We're pro I, I don't know if we're going to break through. I'm not going to even say that, that, that we're probably going to break through, but this is all low resistance liquidity. Like you can see equal lows over here, all low resistance. We have a bunch of imbalances back down here. So there's, there's definitely, it, it's definitely possible that we, we, we come back down into and below this level, but let's stay with relevant data, right? And the relevant data is that we look to be attacking this level. So we have our, really, this was a failure to create a higher high. So this is a weak low, but this is our real structure, in my opinion, right here. So we broke that. And as soon as we break that, I was actually, 
I wanted to get in some longs here just to fade it right back up because this was a beautiful setup. But it happened in Asia, like late Asia. So I wasn't up for it. Um, it comes back up, takes out that high. Now we get this kind of consolidation. And this is kind of the like basically one and a half trading days that we were looking at of it just being in here. And uh, the major bias, even though I was a little bit confused on the bias, the higher time frame bias was more down. And that's what we were talking about where we have, look, we have a consolidation, we have a sweep, we have a break back down. So this is going to be our trading range right here. We get that fade back up into it and there. Now I said that there was potential that we could be bullish, right? There was potential that we can be bullish on the intraday right around here. Uh, but it just didn't just didn't play out like that. And it's because of the higher time frame context that this is is going to go get taken. So we break structure again right here. Would not be surprised to fade back up into this leg somewhere, right? Potentially up to here. I would love to see that imbalance get filled. And then we can start to rock. We can start to ride this bad boy down to start taking out this level, to start taking out this level and potentially back down into that one, two, five hundreds. So like, as for like a, just a weekly, a weekly structure, again, Monday, Tuesday, potentially upside. And then we have the rest of the week down like that. That would be ideal. Then we have our weekly candle forming like that. Again, this is all ICT free teachings. Uh, you can go and check it out on his, on his channel, but applying it is a different story than, than, than the, um, just the knowledge in itself, right? Applied knowledge is, is, is the key. And so I feel like I have a decent understanding and, and can apply it fairly well. And so that's why I'm just doing it right. Based off of all his free teachings, there's nothing in here that's, or at least I don't think that nothing in here that's mentorship material. It's just purely, um, purely off of his free teachings. Okay. So just giving credit where it's due. I'm just, uh, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically it guys. So I'm going to be focusing on, on this downside. I do want to see this retracement early in the week. Ideally, what we do is we just leave some really nice equals in, in, in building some liquidity like this. Potentially we set up some inefficient run up, which would be really, really great. We get a little fractal right up here into around this level here. If I just mark it out with the with this, so it shows you the 50% um, as well of the imbalance. And you can see, boom, that one, that's what I wanna see as the next move. I don't think there's, there's any upside as of now, personally. I think that this is the next move down. If things change, like I said, if the beginning of the week say starts down and it mitigates something in here, and then maybe what has to happen is that this is gonna be a swing point like this, down into this level. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to come and mitigate something higher, right? We're gonna have to take out this because ultimately we have this consolidation, sweep, inducement, inducement. So potentially what we're gonna be doing is building liquidity up here, filling some void in here, and then getting the downside. I can also see that as a potential. And that's why we have to wait and to see how the beginning of the week is gonna be forming, what what are, what are our options in the beginning of the week and, and uh, how it develops, right? Because as of right now, this is coming down very, very slow, very, very kind of correctively. And so there is that potential that lies. I would just wait until this, right? I'd wait until, until this level. But as for the higher time frame, it looks more downside right here. It's kind of looking a little bit like it could do either, to be honest. So I'd be very cautious of this range right here where we had a, a break in structure, a sweep right there. This is all inducement. So it could dabble into here, come back up, take out all this liquidity here into a fair value gap up here, come back down. And then that's, that will be the target. So depending on how it develops, we'll see, but those are going to be my options. Again, the main idea is that one, two, 500, I want to see getting tagged. It's just about, is it going to be coming down first or is it going to be climbing up, taking out all this liquidity first and then coming down? So that's it for me, guys. I hope you got some value out of this and I hope this helps you prepare for the week. So I'll, um, yeah, send me a message. If, uh, if it helped, definitely give a, give a like and, and comment uh, for any other videos you guys want to see. And yeah, have a, a good weekend, you know, enjoy some time with the family and make sure this week you're trading safe and smart and not being a meathead. All right. Cheers guys.